cut, cut. This is all wrong. This is this is this is not right at all. This it's just a jar, man. It's just a jar. I'm taking over. I'm taking over right now. This is this is too much. You know, I've played with all those switch devices, all of them. And I've always wondered exactly what they what they are. These things don't exist in the real world. When you put one of those switch devices on the table, that's what your spectators are wondering. What exactly is this thing? The jar? Everyone knows exactly what it is. It's a jar. I have a card folded up. I'm going to put it in the glass jar. The lid goes over the top. Now, what I'm going to say to you, Megan, is that this is the very first thing I did. I want you to just take one of the cards, any one you want, and you sign your name on it so I know that it's yours. The very first thing I did was this. I put this card right here. I put it in this glass jar. It was in there the entire time. The lid was on it the entire time, right? So it kind of makes you wonder, how in the world did I get Megan signed? Seven of hearts. <laughs> it's a jar. Of course, it does a lot more, but they're never going to know that. She signed the card and put it back in the deck, and then somehow it was in the jar the whole entire time. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> I don't know how he did it. It's completely inspectable. There's nothing to see here. It's a miracle. Oh my God. It's just a thing in the real world. So they're never going to talk about this. They're never going to notice it. And it's going to actually be a third hand for you. You're going to be able to switch things. You're going to be able to perform a lot of different magic. The thing is, is that your magic should always be about you and your relationship with your audience. Yeah, right. That prop should never take the attention away from you. They know what this is. It's it's the jaw.